Happy Friday, everyone. A happy Friday. Yay. Um, hope you're doing good. How are you guys doing today? Thank you for joining me. I'm going to put some makeup on today. And before I start, I want to um, wish my cousin Sandy LeBron a very happy birthday. I love you so much. And I wish God's blessings upon you today and this whole year. Anyway, so how are you guys doing? I'm going to, oh, I want to say that um, I've already prepped my face with my skincare, which I began with today with the serum, my Age Reverse Serum, which I absolutely adore. I, I, I really like the whole line, as you all know. I say it all the time. And this is my moisturizer. I applied my eye cream, which you can see, I really use this. And it's very good for crow's feet and fine lines and wrinkles. And um, so I've already prepped my face. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to apply my foundation. So, oh, I have the brush right here. Today I'm using my, my oval brush. Oh, and CC cream, and this is medium. I think I'm gonna start mixing three and four because I take sun sometimes, so, you know, I like it to kind of match my skin. And we all have a different way of applying our makeup. I was thinking, oops, I was thinking about how, um, you know, we've all experienced craziness, especially 2020. But, um, you know, I thank God that many of us, you know, we made it okay and we are here. And I think that having a, a grateful heart is uh, a real good way to avoid, you know, depression and so many things that can happen from all the bad news that we've been hearing. And, you know, some of us, uh, or should I say some of you, I thank God I did it, lost family members. And, um, well, I just pray that we're all persevering through this time. I know that we can, and with God's help, which God is my ever-present help, uh, every day, whether I'm in trouble or not, right? Because it says he's our ever-present help in times of trouble. And sometimes we walk this earth feeling like very alone. Like, you know, sometimes everybody's in a different situation, and you could even be around people and still feel lonely. So, you know, keep that in mind that one way to combat depression and sadness is when we wake up in the morning to, you know, turn our day over to the Lord and um, be thankful. Find something, whether it's because the simple fact that you're breathing right? that you have good health, maybe for your family, for your grandchildren, and the people that you know God has placed in our lives that have contributed to, you know, helping us with a, an encouraging word or a prayer. I think that there's always something that we could be thankful for. So keep that in mind. Don't let the devil defeat you. And you know, sometimes even us ourselves, it's not always the devil. Sometimes we ourselves could be our worst enemy by the things that we say to ourselves. And, and trust me, I, I've been there. I know all about it. And um, I can say that when I've you know, changed my perspective and just trusted in the Lord and been grateful and thankful, is when um, I've had the most success in, uh, in being happy. Being happy, 
regardless of my circumstance, um, trusting in the Lord when I'm not sure about things. So keep that in mind. Now I'm applying my liquid concealer. And I like this because I have um, under eye ojera they call it or sometimes like sunken or brown and this just really brightens it up and uh, this is the way I do it you know we all have our own methods for our uh, skin care and everybody does what they gotta do I learn from people like if they do it different I try it and you know Sometimes I like it, sometimes I prefer my, you know, my whatever way, but I like to learn. And I know that this looks pretty bright, but once I finish, it'll look just perfect. So you guys gonna do anything this weekend? What are your plans? You going out? I've been a little bit of a homebody lately. Um, not that I don't want to go out, but just sometimes, I don't know, I guess it's the way I am. I like to be home. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyebrows with my powder brush and my pencil. See? I mean my brush. So I apply and blend. And I thank God that I have a nice, I was born with an arch on my eyes, on my eyebrows. So it's pretty easy for me to do. And also I had my eyebrows tattooed a couple of years ago and I am due to get this done again by um, Carabella Brows, <laughs> Darlene. That's what I want to say, by Darlene. And she's really good. She does beautiful eyebrows. Matter of fact, she's a, I think like a master teacher right now. So I gotta go do that, but this time I'm gonna do them less thicker. That way if I wanna make them thick myself or build on it, I can. But I have a very small face and or slim face. So I don't wanna make them too thick this time. I love eyebrows. <laughs> and sometimes I work with them a lot, but you know, I'm not really sure what I'm doing tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going out or if I'm going to stay home. There. And always blend, blend, blend. I think I'm going to put my concealer too, a little light, a little lighter. Just here, here, to brighten up this area. And I've got my concealer blending brush. And I was told that you don't really take it all the way up. It's like right here, under that sunken area. <laughs> or if it's brown, like, you know, dark, circles under your eyes. This is good stuff. Okay. So I got that done. Got my eyebrows done. I'm going to show you my new palette. It's called Wonderlust by Pharmacy. Everything I use is Pharmacy. <laughs> anyway, it's got beautiful colors. So today... I think I'm gonna go with, oh guys, today I, I forgot my primer, but that's okay, because my CC cream is so good that I really don't need it. But when I go out, I always put it on. Um, but you'll see, it'll look pretty anyway. But I do like to wear the VFX Pro, because um, there's we have two, this is the purple one. The, VX, the VFX Pro, camera ready 
primer. It's wonderful because it gives me like a little bit of glow. And for people my age, you don't know my age. Some of you know my age. Um, I like that glow. You know, we need that glow because we don't have that all the collagen all the time like when we were young. That anything look good on us. And then we have the silver one that is matte. So if you like the matte look, you get the silver. If you like the glow, you get the purple. Okay, so I'm so excited to try this palette. And I think, okay, first I'm gonna put on my base color. So I'm gonna start out with base. Oh no, before I do that, I wanna put on my um, eyeshadow primer. It's like this, it's a little, little jar like that. Just to, what it does is it just helps your primer to go on smoother and um, give it, gives it a, a deeper look, a richer look. So there it is. And I try not to pull too much on my eyes when I do this because I try not to stretch the skin. The eye area is a very delicate area. So we don't want to push and, I'm sorry, we don't want to pull and tug too much on it. Okay. So now my eyes are primed for eyeshadow. And I'm starting out with the base color. If anybody ever wants a makeover or for me to come over and, and do your face, I will be happy to. Just let me know. Call me, inbox me, write on the comments below, and I will be happy to do that. Okay, so let's see. I've been wanting to use the purple. That's why I got this shirt on. So I'm going to first begin with I'm gonna put a touch of the strobe dream right here. I'm gonna transition it with um, adventure right here. Give it some depth. And I have hooded eyes, so I gotta be careful. Adventure, I like it. pretty. And I'd like to take it to the end and then we could clean it up. And I 
think I'm gonna add some princess to it. Right there. Princess. Because we're princesses or queens, right? <laughs> I always gotta look in the mirror because and I know I've shared, maybe you've heard it or not, but um, I'm practically blind through one eye. And then my eyesight, you know, has been a little bit on my left side, a little affected. And I'm gonna add some of that pretty purple, the uh, cupcake to the bottom. I think together with the, uh, the adventure, with this liner brush like that. Just so that it's not too thick. And I think I'm gonna take this purple a little higher. I'm gonna add some divine. It's like a, a very dark kind of, I would say a dark plum color. I like that. Gives it more depth. close it yet just in case I want to add some a little more now I'm gonna blend it with my eyeshadow brush and as you can see I think some powder fell here and we'll fix that Not something the way you put on a uh, makeup and then by the time you finish it's like a transformation but in the beginning it's like oh my god that's too light whatever i can't see the droplets there because it just bothers me i have to fix it right away i'm gonna have to put this on first And that's, uh, that fixes that. Okay. And I'm gonna use my, um, my white pencil today. I do have a white pencil. And I'm gonna put it on the bottom to open up the eye. Sometimes I don't wear even mascara sometimes. Everybody's different, so you have to know your face and you know how it works for you. 
because sometimes uh, wearing for me um, for me to wear um, makeup or mascara on the bottom I feel like it closes my eye so this white pencil opens the eye did that now I'm going to I'll do my mascara last and I'll blend this more sometimes you gotta blend 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 okay and here I'm using my um, three-in-one palette been used as you can tell many many times <laughs> anyway so you know you could just contour you could do contour and everything with this highlight with one palette that's why I love it and so when I travel I think now they're prettier they've been they're beige so I've had this a while um, and I just love it and I always keep my little plastic there to, I don't know keep it protected so I'm gonna start out by um, sometimes I use my contour stick I have a contour palette as well, but I'm just gonna go with this one today. Okay, so, okay. Which brush do I wanna use? I'm gonna use this one, only because I can get my areas real good. You start out looking real white, and what you do is you put some of the darker contour on top, right here, depending on your face shape. My face is elongated. But contouring and highlighting gives you depth. And I love the way it looks. I don't contour every day. Highlight, yes, I like to highlight. Like I said, I like that glow. And then you put it in your neck, in your, below your cheekbone to give it that lift. You could bring it higher. Some people bring it lower, it depends. Bringing it higher sometimes gives you higher cheekbones. I don't really need that because I already have high, che high cheekbones. Okay, and then I'm gonna do down here. To define the jaw jawline and then I'm going to contour my nose I'm using this we have a two-sided brush in pharmacy which I love and I use this one to do my nose and if I do the contour stick then it's easier because I can draw it on there so you contour in your nose, you just go down the side. I do the tip here because I don't like that part. So I just go like this. And then on this side. And it looks weird, right? But if you like a slim looking nose, which I do, this is how I do it. And I even do the little sides here that slim look okay and now I'm going to do the blush this one. and you just put it on the apple of your cheek you can go up into the hairline also even put some up here that's how I like it and if I don't do this sometimes I use my sun kiss bronzer from pharmacy check that out when I want like a little more suntan look I guess that is I 
today I'm just even bringing some of the blush up here. I love the way that looks. I just kind of cover, I mean, go on top of the contour with that. Okay, and then now, I am going to use my highlighter. If I can hide, find my highlighter brush. Sometimes you think you got it all together and you don't. But that's okay. Where are you, brush? Where are you? Oh, here it is. I like to highlight with this one. And I'm using my middle highlighter. So if I travel and I don't want to carry a lot of stuff, this is what I travel with. I have the other palette that's called Peach Bite. So when I'm wearing, you know, wearing clothing a little bit lighter or peachy looking, then I use that one. And then I use this one for the most part. And, and then I just use, take my little brush and swirl it through the palette. Put it here. Put it here. Well, you saw me put the light contour. And it gives your face like that. A glow and radiant look. All right. Hello, my love. Love you. Love you too. Okay. So... Start to put things away because if not, they'll all just accumulate here. I like to do my makeup as I clean. I mean, I'm sorry, as I'm cooking. And when I'm cooking, I'm cleaning and cooking at the same time. I know that's crazy sometimes, but that's how I like to flow. Okay, and now I am going to put on my eyeliner. And this ink liner is so wonderful. This is the black one. I wanna show you the blue one. I don't think I'm gonna wear blue though. I'm gonna wear black. Oops, sorry. Okay, I don't have the blue one here. All right, I'll just, I'll show you that another day. Oh no, here it is. I don't know if you can see the blue, but it's like a dark blue, it's real pretty. So we have black, blue, I believe, and the ink liner, that is. Okay, so this is my real challenge, because like I said, since I can't see, I usually have to have a mirror in front of me so that I don't get the eyeliner all over the place. And I use a 10 magnifying mirror because that's how I could see. So, but there's a will, there's a way, people. Don't anything, don't let anything get in front of your dreams. You know, those promises that God told you about. Keep on going. You know, if you don't have support from the ones you thought you would, you keep on going. Because God has a purpose. And whatever he promised you, he's going to do it. And as you can see, I did a boo-boo there. I'll fix it after. Do you guys play music in your house? I love music. I think use music for me has been like a real healer. And uh, especially Christian music. I like Christian music. I also like soft soul music. Um, any, I love any kind of music. God knows I love music. Okay, so I did my eyeliner. And now I'm going to put on my... Um, it's my eyebrow and lash serum B12 
because I find that ever since I've been using this, my eyelashes look a lot better. I used to wear the um, the lash extensions, and I do like them a lot. I look, I think they look beautiful. Um, and I guess they're easy because you don't have to worry about, you know, doing your mascara every day. But you know, it's a, it's a, it's an upkeep. I put this on so that. It conditions my lashes and helps them grow. And then I put my mascara on after that. I know I gotta, I'm gonna blend in another thing. Is to use powder I will be using my last lash extend mascara like I said this is my favorite right now because I have very thin lashes and the first brush on top lengthens so it deposits I guess less uh, formula in there allowing you to comb your lashes with a nice skinny brush and grab each lash. And you could do the top too, like brush down, grab those lashes up. Well, that effect, just to coat them. And this mascara is very black, which that's what I like. I like very black mascara. All right, so I did the top. I think doing the top, the easiest way too, is like holding a mirror down here and then, you know, looking this way. I'll do one more coat of the lengthening part, only because I like my lashes to look long and thick. I don't have them long and thick, but by the time I finish, I'm happy with the way it looks. And uh, I might even put on eyelashes tonight. I'm so glad that we have eyelashes in pharmacy now. And now, I'm gonna do the, um, I'm going to thicken them with the second part. So you lift the pink part up. And this part has a thickening. Cause I guess it just has more, it allows more formula on the, bl on the brush. And I will do that to thicken. Now to my bottom. I 
I don't do the bottom on a bit on a daily basis. I really don't. my mascara on and now I'm going to line my lips with one of my new lip liners here Okay, for today I'm going to use 204 again. I love 204. I have so many. We have all the colors, dark, light, you name it. All cruelty-free makeup, non-toxic. We have European standards for our makeup. Before I do that, I'm going to apply Face powder, transparent to seal my makeup before I put on my lipstick. I like to, I'm gonna do it like this today. That's what it looks like. And I use a big brush. And just to kind of like, I guess, blend everything too at the same time. Oh, and as you can see today, I didn't uh, blow dry my hair so you can see my natural hair. My natural hair is wavy. I wish it was curlier. It used to be curly when I was a young girl. I had long, past my shoulders, length hair. And it was uh, very, it was curly on the bottom, beautiful curls. I'm all this blow drying all these years. I don't know, I've kind of lost that. Okay, so I'm using my lip liner now. to the end and then you do the cupids you see many things so many ways to do it some people do an X here I just line it and I have to line this side higher only because I had a paralysis in my face in um, 2008 or 9 I thought it was 2010 it wasn't 2010 and ever since then, my face is not symmetrical. But nobody would know that unless they look closely or I told them. So see people, there is no perfect. There is no perfection. But we are perfectly imperfect. Because sometimes your imperfections are what make you special. There's this actor, I forgot what his name is, but he's got his features, as you know, his nose looks a little crooked. You probably know what I'm talking about. He's blonde and, um, you know, people might say, why doesn't he, you know, he's got all this money. Why doesn't he get his nose done? That's his signature. If he does his nose, then um, it might not be the same. I forgot to put my lip conditioner, so I'm just gonna put it right now. Pharmacy lip conditioner. I keep my my lips soft with this. You can see, look how down, down low it is. And um, and also with my lip scrub. It smells like watermelon. This is what it looks like inside. I put some on my toothbrush and then I brush my lips after I brush my teeth. 
and my lips come out super soft. I do not like skin on my lips or chapped lips. I'm one of those people that I have to have my chap stick next to my bed or everywhere I go because I have to be, I don't know, I have to have moist lips or I don't know, I start bothering my lips and biting the skin off. Oh, so I'm using today one of my new VFX Pro Camera Ready Lippies in Soft Violet. I think we ran out, but I'm so happy I have it because it's so pretty. I have a lot of pretty colors. And so, I don't know if you know, in pharmacy, we are more than makeup. Skin care, men's care, baby care, and our baby care is organic. So if you have any baby gifts you wanna give, they have the baby shampoo, the baby lotion, the baby soap, and the baby oil. And I actually use the baby oil too. I use it on my body because I love, oh, where did I put it? Because I love that, you know, it just moistens my skin after a shower. It can be after shower, before shower. Anyway, this is my look for today. And then I always look to see if there's anything I could fix. I want some more mascara. Love mascara. I am a mascara freak. <gasps> Since I'm 14. When I was 14, my mother had this awesome mascara. It was like a metal brush, very expensive, I think. And uh, when I first used it for the first time, I was amazed. Because when I was young, I had long eyelashes. But you know, like I said, wearing makeup, aging, whatever. I had very long lashes. And when I put on that mascara, my lashes actually touched the top of my eyelids. That's how much, it, that's how wonderful that mascara was. I don't remember the name. So anyway, okay, that's that. And I already sealed my mascara. I'm gonna finish the look with our time block to set the makeup in for hours. Okay, you just spray it like this. Okay, it doesn't give you a shiny face, it's a matte look. And I'm gonna show you my hair, my natural hair. This is what I look like when I wash my hair and don't blow dry it. And to tame the frizz, what I did was I used my um, my keratin spray. Where's my keratin spray? I spray it on wet. You could spray it on dry too. Spray it on wet and I comb my hair just to kind of like combat any frizzies. And if you want straight hair, your hair will look amazing with this. And then, I do, to combat the frizzy s'mores, I use my keratin serum, like that. And for my thin hair, because you can see, look, I don't have a lot of hair. And it's thin, you know, my, but I've been like this forever. Of course, I had probably double the amount when I was young, but one drop for my thin hair, very carefully, because I don't want to weigh it down, and I don't want greasy hair. A little bit here so you don't have too many flyaways there. that's my day makeup for today for Friday anyway I hope you're having a blessed Friday a blessed weekend thank you for spending time with me I love you guys so much um, if you could support my business, that would be wonderful. Go to www.pharmacyus.com slash divine beauty. That's my website. You can follow me on Facebook on Pharmacy by Jackie Mendez. And on Instagram, it's um, Jackie's Divine Beauty. Have a blessed day. And if there's anything that I could do for you or answer any questions, please DM me write a comment and I'll be happy to get back with you.